Welcome to Cantata Bio Customer Spotlight series, where we discuss how our customers are pushing the boundaries of science. My name is Miriam Alkawan, and I'm Head of Customer Success at Cantata Bio. Today, I'm super excited to be speaking with Dr. Olivia Fletcher, Professor of Functional Genetic Epidemiology at the Institute of Cancer Research. Dr. Fletcher, so glad to have you here with us today. Thank you, Marion. It's lovely to be here. So to get us started, could you tell our audience at a high level the focus of your research? So the background to my research is genome-wide association studies. These studies identify regions of the genome that are associated with a phenotypic trait or disease risk. In my case, the disease that I'm interested in is breast cancer. While these studies are very good at estimating risks that are associated with these regions of the genome, what they don't do is tell us or give us insight into the mechanisms by which these regions are influencing risk. So our hypothesis is that if we could understand those mechanisms, we could in the future develop new ways of preventing or treating breast cancer. Thank you for this great overview. So what are the key questions that you're trying to address and what approaches are you using to address them? So we know that there are at least 150 regions of the genome that are associated with breast cancer risk. And we want to know how each and every one of those works. Almost all of the variants that are identified through genome-wide association studies are non-coding. So the underlying mechanisms we think are generally going to be about a genetic variant influencing expression of a target gene. So we use genome-wide data such as promoter capture high C for linking variants to target genes. We use histone modifications to um, see where variants um, align perhaps with something like an enhancer mark. And we use transcription factor data to look for, gene, uh, for variants that um, co-localize with the transcription factor binding site. We also use more bespoke locus specific assays. So for example, we use CRISPR interference to target specific variants and see whether they perturb gene expression. Or we can do things like reported gene assays to measure directly the effect of a region and or a variant on expression of a reporter gene. And what was your experience with high c based lab work prior to using the Doftel Pen Promoter Enrichment Kit? And how has that changed? So like most people, we were using the in situ uh, protocols for our high c data, and we were using a six cutter, Hindi 3, for our chromatin fragmentation step. As you know, these protocols require huge numbers of cells, and that meant for us that we were restricted to using cell lines rather than primary cells, which it's arguable would be much better representation of the at-risk breast. So by moving to the Dovetail Pan Promoter Enrichment Panel Kit, we've been able to drastically reduce the number of cells that we need, and that's allowed us to move our experiments into primary cells. Because of the sequence nonspecific nuclease that you use, we've also been able to interrogate some regions of the genome that are Hindi 3 restriction site sparse. And you've converted us to using your pan promoter panel for our target enrichment instead of the bespoke target enrichment arrays that we used to create ourselves um, that were designed to capture regions of the genome rather than promoters. We use all of the dovetail pipeline for QC and for mapping. The one thing we haven't changed is that we use our own caller chicane for um, calling interaction peaks. This has all been very informative. Do you have any words of wisdom you would like to share with other researchers who are also looking to incorporate the pan promoter assay in their lab? Uh, yes, read the protocol very carefully. These are very good, very detailed protocols with lots of helpful advice. And I think if you read them and follow them carefully, you've got a pretty good chance of generating really nice capture high C libraries from the get go. Um, if you can't, um, and we've struggled with some specific cell lines, 
then we've always found Miriam and her colleagues to be very responsive and very helpful um, going through troubleshooting with us. And we've always managed to get them in the end. Oh, 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 o